might know our next guest is Ma's Last Dancer, but at home, Lee Shwin Singh is just dad to Sophie, Tom and Bridie, who know better than anyone why he's earned the title of 2009 Australian Father of the Year. And also joining us from Sydney is the New South Wales Community Father of the Year, Sergeant Chris Cotter. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Kim. I, I want to know from you, both actually, who teaches a man how to be a good father? Well, I guess for me, it was my father, my own father, my late father, who had just passed away early this year, which was very sad uh, for us. And he was a man who were never educated, never had the money to go to school, couldn't read or write until the day he died. But he was a wonderful father and a wonderful husband to um, his wife, my mother. So he had set a great example and a very high standard. So all my life I have tried to emulate mm. some of the qualities that he had demonstrated. Mm. What would those qualities, I mean, what would those qualities include? O obviously love. Yeah, love for his family, mm. for his children, for his wife, but also he worked hard all his life. And he was an honest man. So he always told us, to, told us no matter how hard life is, have integrity, and, uh, you know, to be honest. Mm. Chris, uh, you, did you, was your father a mentor as far as fathering was concerned? Yeah, my dad was a great influence on me. Um, we always tried to do our best for our family and provide whatever he could, and this country's provided a lot of opportunities for us. So, yeah, we made the most of everything. At what point, can I ask both of you, both of you at what point do you realise that you've been a good dad, that you've raised your children mm. where, well. Is there a point at which you can say, you pat yourself on the shoulder and go, I've done well here, mm. or is it ongoing? Well, uh, Chris, may I uh, say that uh, um, the point that I realised was when my oldest daughter, Sophie, uh, graduated from high school last year with a, a most surprising grade, and she was the one born with deafness. Yeah, we met so, them last week, yes. Yeah, uh, so and everyone. just, you know, she had to go through such uh, challenges in her life. So we were most proud. And so at that moment, I thought, well, maybe we have done something right, yeah. because <laughs> yeah. she's the most beautiful child yes, as well. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and Chris, I know you've got three kids. Y you, you don't just limit your parenting, though, to your own three children. No, I would try. Look, I've tried my best with my own kids, and they're great little kids, and my best friends, and uh, try to expand on some of the male influence that uh, I've had on, into the community, and uh, developing a few different things like the Camp Impact program at Macquarie Fields, with the assistance of our um, commander at the time, Mr. Wilkins, who was a great, showed great leadership to allow that process to happen. So, how important do you both think the, uh, a father's role is? Well, perhaps I could ask you first, Chris, because of your involvement in the community, how important is a father's role in bringing up teenage kids that, that may be troubled even? Look, um, it's a very important role, male role, role models. Um, it's something that uh, can't be replaced in the community and at home. Um, sometimes you, you need love, dedication, support, and also setting boundaries at, at some time, you know mm. what I mean? You still need to set those boundaries and make them clear to the kids. Mm. Do, do you know as a dad, um, Chris, perhaps we can start with you. Do, do you know, as a dad at the time, the words that impact your children at this stage in their life? Or, or is it a bit later look, on? I'll, look, I've always used the word love. I still kiss my 16-year-old son to this day and uh, I'll never stop doing that. So he's a boy and I just love to show my affection, you know. Yeah. Lee, did the, the, did the, the discipline and the demand that was required of you to become uh, a, a renowned international dancer inhibit your ability to be a, 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 the dad you wanted to be when your kids were younger? Not at all. I think uh, it's, if anything, I think uh, helps. Uh, it, because I think it takes a lot of discipline to be a good dad as well. And, you know, it's difficult to be a dad because you work hard during the day and you take a lot of stress home sometimes. Mm. And it's easy to be sidetracked to sit in front of the TV and have a beer in hand and cut the family out. Yeah. Mm. But I think it is it's not, uh, I always thought, look at my own father and he worked all his life and just very early, get up very early in the morning, come home very late at night. But every time when he came home, his family is his world. Yeah. And he's totally committed. And I think that it's not the amount of time you spend with your children, with your family, it's the quality of time mm. you spent with them. If you have that total commitment and show them the love and uh, you know that really comes down to the end. But I think earlier you raised an interesting question, you know, what do you say to your children mm. on a daily basis yeah. make a big difference? They may not click 
at some stage of their life, but it's like planting seeds. If you actually teach them the right values and, you know, always talk to them about the right things in life. Tell and me, what, what seeds do you plant? How but do I, you? I think, you know, talking about, you know, we can shy away from the problems, the drug problem or alcohol problem, but you have to talk about it at yeah, home. Yeah. And, and the earlier you can talk about them, the, 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 you know, the bad things about, the side, bad side effects about these kind of things to themselves and to the family and to the friends around them, to the community, and the better. Mm. Because you can't hide them, the problems are there. So I think it's, it's prudent, it's really valuable for you to really to educate them throughout the process. Lee, for you, you've, you've won lots of countless awards in your life. How is this award different to the awards where you strive to achieve something, you strive to be the best dancer in the world? This is the most meaningful. I, I've try uh, hard to win the gold medal at international ballet competitions or people give me incredible accolades throughout my dancing career in, in different areas or through my book and all that. And, uh, but this one would have to be the most meaningful. Yeah. And I was deeply touched and moved by it. And, uh, you know, especially selected by uh, the Shepherd Center who actually helped uh, hearing uh, in an impaired children oh, they do a help the education, job. wonderful job. So, and also Father's Day Council. So, I think something I, I just would forever treasure this yes. award. And, and Chris, how about you? Did it come as a complete surprise to you? Did you know that you'd been nominated by your children? Um, I found out just in the papers when my son uh, sent it through and he said, Dad, I want to show you something. And I thought he was showing me a local crime report. And it happened to be a picture of our, <laughs> happened to be a picture of our family in there. And I was surprised to say, what's that doing in there? Um, but look, extremely happy and uh, very proud to be nominated and to win it on behalf of all community fathers. It Chris, is a hard job out there and uh, it was good to win. Chris Lee, Lee raised such a beautiful point there with his own father saying as soon as he came home, he made sure he was always immersed in the children's lives. Does that create ex extra challenges for you as a police officer to try to leave um, that part behind? Look, it does and it doesn't. It's uh, positive. I look at it this way that I'm in contact with what young people are doing today in schools, what my daily um, kids are doing daily in their activities. And, yeah, I guess uh, they can't fool you. I can... <laughs> Yeah, no, they, they always try, but uh, look, it's, uh, it's something that challenges of young people today, they certainly are different from 20 and 30 years ago. So we're always trying to look at different programming when we're doing our, delivering our programs in the schools and uh, to our youth centres and all that. So the police are really looking to uh, diversify our um, ways of uh, in influencing the community. You both have uh, uh, different cultural backgrounds. Do you father differently to the style that your, your, your fathers did? Is there a particular Chinese way of being a father that you've uh, taken on or, or decided to do differently? Chris, would you like to answer that question first? <laughs> <laughs> what <Yeah>. you think? <laughs> Look, uh, yeah, well, I'm from an Anglo-Indian background myself and uh, I've always, family's been a very important part of our heritage and uh, I've just tried to give the same love and support my yeah. parents gave to me to our three boys. So. Uh, yeah. and Lee, is That's there a different, a different approach at all? Well, I would like to. I mean, I, uh, I don't think I'm as good a father as my own father, but I like to be a better father. So I constantly strive to improve it. And yeah. uh, my father, not, not particularly communicative as a peasant man, yeah. um, but the love was always there. Yeah. But I would like to think uh, I communicate better with my kids and, uh, you know, just try to engage conversations and even, you know, when you're totally exhausted when you come home. Yeah. Um, but I think there is another point quite earlier, I think I was just like to go back to it, is about the important role fathers does play. Because, I mean, whether we like it or not, and, you know, the, your sons always look up to you and the influence in their lives is so crucial. So what do you do for them uh, at home? And what do you say, what do you do, what example you set for your children is in fact important. So we can go out to the politicians or communities as why the young kids today behave not the way we would like them mm. to behave, but yeah. it all start at home. At yes. the family, that's yes. right. That's yeah, right. I think yeah. so too. Look, uh, it's been a lovely chat and we can't wait to talk to you later in the year, Lee, when your movie comes out, Male's Last Dance. So I hope you'll join us then when it comes out. I'll be delighted. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, and congratulations to you both. Yeah, really proud of you. Well done. Thank you. Thank right. you very much. And uh, look, I'm sure everyone out there's got a, a fabulous dad that they love as well. And we're giving you a chance to win something special for your dad to make him feel great on Monday.